In this video, we will present a finite element formulation of a triaxial test in ANOVA 3D, which is described in Chapter 4 of the Tutorial Manual. In this chapter is also explained how to use an external soil model. We will learn how to perform a 3D finite element analysis on a simple boundary value problem, how to apply the keynote procedure to initialize the state of stress, how to assign a prescribed velocity on a surface and how to extract and manipulate the results of a material point. The triaxial compression test will be performed on a homogeneous cubic specimen. We will define geometry, material model, loading and boundary conditions and the mesh. We will consider a dry Mohr Coulomb material model. On the upper surface of the specimen a velocity of 1 mm per second will be applied. The specimen will be laterally confined at 50 kPa. Let's start with the pre-processing in GID. After specifying the problem type Anura 3D 2021 and saving your project in GID, you can start creating the geometry. By using the common create straight line, we create a unitary square giving the vertices as input. The polygon is transformed to a surface using the common create NARB surface and selecting the square to be transformed. The square surface is now extruded into a cube using the common utilities copy surface translation. Specify extrude volumes and select the surface to be extruded. Before proceeding, it is useful to set an isometric view of the problem using View, Rotate, Isometric X and zoom a bit on the 3D specimen. Now that the geometry is created, we can define the materials. From the Anura 3D menu, select Materials, New Material with basic properties and more Coulomb as material model. Introduce parameters according to the slide previously shown. This material is now assigned to the specimen, pressing Assign specifying volumes and directly selecting the volume. Let's always check the correct assignment with a draw color command. We can now move on specifying the material point per element. One material points per element and check again the correct assignment with the draw color command. We are now ready to assign the boundary conditions. This is done with a fixity command. We have to start selecting the phase to which we are imposing the fixity, solid in our case, and the direction. The lower surface is the only one to be fixed in the z-direction, normal to the surface. The confining pressure is now imposed. The loading pressure is imposed by means of the loading condition command. 3D solid traction uniformly distributed and applied normal to each surface, compressing the specimen. The imposition of the confining pressure can again be checked by means of the draw color tool. The last step for the definition of the boundary value problem is to assign the velocity to the upper face of the specimen. The velocity will be applied as a 3D nodal velocity surface in Z direction, minus 1 mm per second, and is assigned with a well-known assign tool.
Now that the problem is fully defined, we pass to the definition of the calculation data, necessary to set up the calculation procedure. Let's specify 3D Cartesian, standard FEM, introduce the number of calculation steps, the time per calculation step, and the current number. We specify that solid traction and velocity will be applied in a unique step. We activate Keynote procedure, giving as an input the soil surface elevation and the initial vertical stress, minus 50 kPa. We impose as output data material point number 10. We close the calculation data and pass to the definition of the mesh. Let's verify that the mesh type is set on quadratic. Click save to be sure not to have lost any input. We can now generate the mesh choosing a proper mesh size. We go into Generate Anura 3D files. The files are now generated and we can go in the folder for the calculation phase. We can now open the project folder. Here there are all the files necessary for the calculation. We can modify the file, for example increasing the number of load step to 300. We launch the simulation by clicking the calculate.wat in our calculation folder A3D. After the end of the calculations, we can visualize the raw output into the BMS file. These raw results are now copied in Excel and imported. They can be manipulated in order to compute and plot the evolution of deviatoric strain and stresses and volumetric strains. Some examples are hereafter reported. One may notice that the material is initially elastic and compacting. When the ill surface is reached, plastic strains occur and the material starts dilating. Thanks for watching this video. For any additional information, please refer to the tutorial manual.